Hi, today I wanted to go over how to account for customer deposits in QuickBooks Online. Uh, we're going to be using a sample company file, uh, so that way I don't divulge any uh, of my clients' information. Okay, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, the gear icon up, up here in the upper right hand corner and um, you're going to go to chart of accounts we are going to need to create a new account uh, for the customer deposits and this is going to be an other current liability account it is an other current liability account it, actually it's a liability because uh, we are receiving funds and we have not yet earned these this money so it's a liability so we're going to call it customer deposit deposits and then we're going to click save now as you see we have a new uh, account for customer deposits and then the next thing we're going to want to do is set up a new product or service and you do this again by going to the gear icon and then clicking products and services under list and we're going to want to create a new product or service and we're going to name it customer deposit now the income account that you're going to want to route this to is going to be the other current liabilities account customer deposits you choose that and then you click save perfect now I want to show you how to record a customer deposit so to record this customer deposit you click this um, this plus sign and then um, if this is the first time you're using QuickBooks Online you want to click show more and then under customers you want to go to sales receipt if you're receiving funds right away and you're going to want to choose the customer that's giving you the deposit um, in this case we'll pick cool cars and you choose the payment method that the customer is giving you we're going to pick check for now and then under products and services we're going to choose the customer deposit item that we just created you input your description and then you, in you input the amount that's being deposited by the customer so let's say they gave us a five hundred dollar check for work that we're going to do for them so you input five hundred dollars and then save and close now if you go to your balance sheet as of today's date let's see you, sh you should see a five hundred dollar customer deposit under other current liabilities and it's right there perfect if you click on it you can actually drill into the account and see who deposited uh, the funds and cool cars the sales receipt that we just uh, entered right now okay um, the next step is probably uh, you're gonna have to invoice this customer so I want to go over that real quick um, to do that you click this plus sign at the top of the screen under customers you go to invoice and then you choose the customer uh, we're gonna go with cool cars to finish off this example and uh, we're invoicing them today now you're gonna want to enter the product or service as if uh, you would any other invoice and let's say we did some maintenance and repair work for them and what we charge for this maintenance and repair work would be fifteen hundred dollars and now on the next line you're going to want to go to the customer deposit you're going to input this customer deposit item and then uh, you're going to want to put a description in so let's put in um, deposit by customer on and today's date I mean, you put in a generic description that, that you would use and then right here under amount you're going to want to subtract the amount that was deposited by the customer 
So in this in this uh, example, they deposited five hundred dollars, and so as you see, it's it's subtracting the five hundred dollars from what we would have charged them, giving them a subtotal of one thousand dollars left um, as the balance due, and then you click uh, save and close. Now what this is going to do, if we go to back to our reports, oh actually, well let me show you from the beginning. So you go to reports, balance sheet. Now what we're going to see as of today's date, we're going to see that the customer deposit account is now uh, zero because we have used the deposit of $500 that the customer gave us. If you drill into it, you'll see exactly what's happening. Uh, we received this, we gave them a sales receipt for their $500 check and then we subtracted the $500 from accounts receivable uh, on the invoice, leaving them a balance of $1,000 left to, to pay for the, the work that we did. Okay, uh, if you guys have any other questions for me, you know, just feel free to, to contact us at www.firstclasstaxsolutions.com. And always, uh, if you like the video, please uh, like, comment and uh, subscribe for, for any other videos that we're going to be releasing in the future. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.